All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Ghost Dog. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, two inches tall, weighing in at 116 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Kamek Kid. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to bear my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to your corners, come out fight. They touch him up, and we are underway. set to crown a UFC heavyweight champion. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Yeah, he's fixing it all up. Really working over that lead leg with those beautiful leg kicks. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? 
There's no tell on that leg kick. Ooh, big shot land. Back and forth we go. Just misses there with the left. Nice head kick. certainly making good use of what is an obvious edge in reach. And he landed the right hand there. Barely missed on an uppercut right here on the inside. Nice right hand. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Huge knee lands coming close. And they settle. Nice job to land a knee to the body, man. I wish I was that tall. Oh, and he connects with the punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Oh, huge block! Guard. Now, not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to frame. You frame and push your opponent away from you. By pushing him away from you, he will then want to come back into you. Right. It's like when I push you back, you want to go forward. So as he comes forward, hand goes off the face. Let it slip into an underhook, build up to your elbow, then go chase your single leg. This is high-level grappling, John, from a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt named Daniel Cormier. <laughs> well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jiu-jitsu next week, too. <laughs> oh, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Can't take many of those. Better check. Oh, nice right hand. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class. Hands up, chin down. Oh, big punch land. Well, if you're going to leave your body that wide open, you're going to pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. What a body kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Oh, nice jab. Beautiful strike. Watch the shot. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh. Lands a knee there. Nice deception there to get that knee to the target. Really good knee. Nice job of driving it right to the target. Get the plan exactly where you want. Five minutes in the books. Take a seat, buddy. Breathe, relax. Get some water and listen up. You felt his power. You're fine. Everything is good, okay? He won the strike in that round. Right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, here we go with round two. Round one, pretty good, not great, but some action on both sides. We can't always hope to follow him, John. Yeah. Sometimes you got to deal with the ebbs and flows of the fight. In round number one, you saw both guys have success. Let's see who really charges out ahead in the second round. 
big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. You got to whip his hip into that kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight reach. Good spin. Oh, nice. Try to establish that jab. Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Circling towards the left now. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Now going upstairs with the left hook. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're doing. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming. And when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Well, no surprise as he connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on that. Right on the cut. And he targeted it, right? He's looking. You can see him almost putting a laser beam on that cut and just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much. He just keep making it split, showing his opponent that he has no mercy. Unable to land with that punch. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Nice kick. Just misses with the jab there. Oh, perfect timing on the Superman punch. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Head kick attempt, it's blocked. Oh, he's hurt bad. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll suddenly he'll change his stance. Oh, big head kick. with that right hand. So once again, no surprise, DC. The fighter with the longer reach able to land another punch there. Ooh, what a punch. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Overhand left. Right hook to the head blocked. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictated the fight. Shot. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Oh, collar tie. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but 
That is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. Well, what a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of the time. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Big body kick lands. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. What a punch. Nice body kick right on the elbow. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And both guys really throwing with authority. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Andy lands the knee to the body now. Straight punch lands. Oh, and he caught the kick. Series of strikes by him. There. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Takedown defense holds up. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land a beautiful punch to the head. So he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Pretty good right hand. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. To well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his ball. Oh. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. That's a big strike right there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Well done to block that powerful kick to the bottom. Right on the button. Lands another punch to the head. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Nice punch. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Man, get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're gonna have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Exchange in the pocket here. Look at him drive his shin to the whole body with that body kick. Just misses with the straight left hand. Oh, that's a nice strike. Just missed with that right hand. Quick leg kick. Unable to connect there. Oh! He's out! Oh! Whoa! What a fight! Pinpoint.
good strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 32 seconds of round number three. Going the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Ghost So how about this? We have a new UFC heavyweight champion of the world. I think that guy beats Daniel Cormier. I, I mean, this guy beats anybody. I'm telling you right now, he is the king of the world for a reason. The number one heavyweight in the world, a guy that possesses knockout power, confidence, and heart. It's going to be very difficult to take this belt away from this champ.